going on guys? Today we are back. We are doing a build overview on my 1989 Toyota pickup. Now, it's been a couple years since I've done this, actually. Last time I did this, the truck was white. So, there's a lot to go over, and some of you guys have been asking for this, so uh, let's get to it. Under the hood, you'll see that I swapped a 3.4 from a 2000 4Runner. Also, there's a TRD supercharger on top of that, bringing the horsepower up to the mid 200s, 230s, I don't know, somewhere in there, way more than stock. Moving down a little bit, you'll see that I got this fractal bumper complete with a Smittybilt 9500 winch. And even further down, you'll see that the truck is actually solid axle swapped. Now, my solid axle swap is actually kind of unique because the hanger is normally welded below the frame, below the front cross member. But we cut out the front cross member, put the hanger up higher to try to keep the truck a little bit lower. Inside the solid axle, there's stock 456 gears that came with this truck. Also, there's a Toyota e-locker. For shocks up front, I got the Bilstein 5100s. These are 10 inch ones, they're slightly shorter than the ones that came with the Trail Gear IFS Eliminator kit to accommodate the lower ride height. Also in the Trail Gear Springs, the bottom leaf is actually removed just to get it just that hair lower. My steering box has also been moved to accommodate the total lowering of the truck. Also, it fixes the binding of the steering links that I had a little tiny bit under Extreme Flex. Empowering the front end for the transfer case is a square tube drive shaft. These are high clearance fiberglass fenders from toyotafiberglass.com. So the rear of the truck is lifted with Old Man Emu springs. They're about two inch springs. And I've also got shackles that are actually from a 2018 Tundra, which are about an inch and a half longer than the stock Toyota ones that came with the truck. So you get about uh, about a half inch, three quarters of an inch of lift with that. The rear end also has 456 gears and a lock right locker. I've also installed the U-bolt flip kit in the rear of this truck and have custom shock mounts to support the bill sneaks. Now the rear drive line in this thing has also been changed. It used to be a two piece, now it's a one piece with the CV knuckle coming out of the transfer case. The truck is also now a manual transmission. When I bought it, it was an automatic, and I swapped out the auto for a manual when I actually did the engine swap. It ended up being easier for me anyways that way. Also, this truck has a two inch body lift. Now, the body lift is purely so that the engine and supercharger will clear. Otherwise, I would have had to cut a hole in my hood and I'm not really a big fan of that look. And honestly, I think it's a perfect height right now with the other lowering mods. The body lift also gives you easy access to stuff like the starter, the bell housing bolts, and I've actually uh, learned to actually like it a little bit. Inside the truck, you'll find SR5 seats that I swapped in, also the center console. There's also a SR5 gauge cluster, which gives me the RPM, the battery meter, oil pressure sensor gauge, and I've also installed a boost gauge in this. Plus, there's an OBD2 readout, which gives me critical information on the engine. One of the very, very first things I ever did to this truck was install a stereo, and it's still here. It's got a double din deck, it's got a sub in the back, and some speakers in the back panels. This headache rack is actually off of a first gen Tacoma. Um, it, it's kind of tall for the truck, but I kind of like how it looks. I don't know, it'll be replaced with some sort of roll bar eventually here. The rubber I'm running on these are 37 by 12, 5 by 17 Toyo MTs, wrapped around some Blackfoot Grizzly ramps. This truck is painted 1H5 cement gray. Now that is a factory Toyota color, obviously not from these old of trucks, but actually you'll see it on the newer Toyotas. The difference is I didn't clear coat it, so it lost its shininess <laughs> pretty quick, but I still love this color and I can easily touch up anywhere that needs it. Anyways guys, I hope you like this look into my Toyota pickup build. It's a little bit different than the usual videos on my channel, but uh, I figure something like this is a little bit important, especially for the new people that come around. Um, I'd like to do one of these every year with the truck, see, go over all the stuff that's changed. So hopefully I can remember to do that. <laughs> Anyways guys, if you like this stuff, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more wheeling content and more Yoda stuff in general, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.